Hello guys, welcome back on OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to rename Oracle database using NID utility. So before starting my tutorial, I request to you if you are new on my channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get my all new video notification in your mailbox. So before wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and do the practically. I'm going to log in in this database. I'm going to start this database using the startup command. Okay, database is open. So you can see the instance name is OCP Tech and the status is open. Okay, let me show you the database is running with the SV file. Show. my sv file location is this so just exit from there check the listener status also okay listener also is down OCP tech database i'm going to convert in the digital my new database name is a digital and my current database name is a ocp tech so now we need to shut down our database and start up till mount stage okay just shut down okay instance is shut down just start up mount okay just come on the host and right here command with the nid the command is a nid target is equal to the sys user the password of the sys user is oracle at your current database service name is ocp tech db name is equal to your new database name which you want to set i want to set a digital okay so this is the exactly command which is helping us to rename our database actually that command is run with the nid utility which is the automatic database renaming utility the utility is very helpful for us hit enter to execute the command so here is we are facing the error which is the tns connection host unreachable okay so basically this error is come from the tns entries so let me check the tns entry tns ping ocp tech okay the tns is not working why because i think my machine ip is changed the machine ip is 131 check ip also in the etc host file and you can see here the ip is changed in the host file is a 130 and exit ip is a 131 so we need to change the ip in the host file now let me change the entry in the host file now exit from the root user check the tns ping again okay our listener is down so we need to start our listener using the following command okay listener has been started now run the nid command let me clear the screen first hit enter and the command will be executed now everything is running fine and here it is asking from us are you sure you want to change the database name from ocp tech to digital so just press y here and hit enter again okay now finally the database name has been changed and uh, it is showing a message over here which is this in these few lines the first line is showing the our new database name which is the digital okay and the second line is a modified parameter file and generate a new password file before restarting the database we need to modify the parameter file means p file or sv file and then we need to create a new password file for the database 
and it is showing the database IDs which is changed right now and here's are some a few notifications is there which is that uh, like all previous backup and archive data logs for this database are unusable means your all backups and all uh, all the archive logs which is right now is unusable for this database because we change the database name okay and the database is not aware of previous backup and archive logs in the recovery area database has been shut down open database with the reset log options successfully change database name and id db new id completely successfully so our database has been successfully renamed and we need to open this database with the reset log options so before doing anything we need to change the db name in the init file means p file or sv file okay so if you have a p file then you can just open the p file and just rename the db name and if you don't have current p file then you can use the sv file directly just using the my method to modify db name parameter directly in the sv file for that we need to start the all database which is the ocp tech till no mount stage now modified the db name parameter using the alter command db underscore name is equal to digital and the scope is equal to sp file that's it just run this command and after that just shut down immediate again once database is shut down now we need to exit from the sql prompt and just switch on the location of p file or sp file okay so just cd user one app Oracle product home this and here's the DBS and let me show you some files here here you can see the there is no SV file for the digital database but here's a one SV file which is the OCP tech dot ora okay so I'm going to make a copy of this file just simply cp sp file ocp tech dot aura sp file digital dot aura okay just using the same method you can just make a copy of the password file also so here you can see the password file also see this one okay so we need to make a copy of this file also cp or cp tech and just aura pw digital just hit enter now let me check some files name so you can see now we have a password file for the digital database also and we have a sv file for the digital database okay go back one step and just go inside the network file here you can see cd admin say if an l now we need to add it listener file also so just write here the vi listener file and we need to add the entry for the digital database here i'm just going to make a copy of these lines just press the i button then enter and press here so just rename db name is digital digital just save this file as it is and add it just tns name file tns name dot aura okay just edit it and also we need to add the tns entry for the digital database okay so just make a copy of these lines digital okay that's it we have all done now we need to export our oracle sid here like export oracle sid is equal to is digital okay just hit enter and just write here the command which is login in our database to so login with the database and just write here the startup mount database mounted then run the command here alter database open reset log if you are not mentioned the reset log keyword here it will show the error here see 
uh, uh, database spelling is mistake. So let me correct and run again. Alter database open. It is showing here the you must use the reset log or no reset log option for the database open. So we need to mention the reset log keyword here. Alter database open reset logs. Just hit enter. Okay, finally it's up. Now you can check here the name of the database. Select name and open underscore mod also from VDollar database. See. The database name is a digital and that it is right now in the read write mode. Okay. So after that, just exit here. LSNRCTL reload and TNS ping digital. So our database is working fine. So friends, finally we renamed our database with the uh, from OCP tech to digital. This is the very easiest way to rename our database and very fast method. I hope you found this video very informative. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.